Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to show you the emergency kit or the things I carry every day in my car. The car is a Dodge Lancer from 1986. It has a turbo charge in it and I just bought it a little bit ago. It was my first car. On the back, of course, I have my Appalachian Trail sticker. So I'm just going to show you everything that's in here right now as is. I'm not going to try and make it look all nice like some people do. On the seat I have a micro USB that I use for my GoPro and my Garmin GPS which is not in here right now. Down on the floor is the rear view mirror which fell off today. That was a lovely thing to happen. Now I'm down to two mirrors. The glove box. I've got two screwdrivers. Both are flatheads, one short, one's long. I have some caps from parts of the car that I've fixed and some a pair of gloves, uh, some screws and a hose clamp, two of them, and a bunch of caps because I needed one to stop a leak in the engine and have a bunch of extras. I have the car guide, insurance and uh, registration in there pretty snazzy cup holder most of the things on the dash do not work the radio works but the tape player and that stuff does not it's kind of annoying but I deal with it none of those none of the buttons work so I can't save radio stations that kind of thing the left speaker over there doesn't work. The speedometer doesn't work. Right now it says we are going about 75. So yeah. The gas gauge works and the other ones on the right work which is nice. Down here used to be a tape holder but I took it apart and made this little cubby. Put a baby wipes container in there and put a cow skin. So that's a lot more convenient. I just keep receipts and things in there and my sunglasses below that I have an extra watch cover protector that I wear at work and and a 9 pin or 30 pin iPod charger with a USB on it so I can plug in anything else that's helpful to have in here and I have a Joby tripod in the car don't know why it's just been in here a long time haven't taken it out but the camera connector part is not in here so it's practically useless under the passenger seat I have a rain poncho that I found in the car some ramen and more ramen between the two seats there is this thing that lifts up in here I have a flashlight, a small fixed blade, the cigarette lighter for the power port, and a multi-tool. It's like an off-brand version of a Leatherman, just a cheap one. It has pliers, a knife, screwdriver, a little saw, that kind of thing. And on the driver's side, I have two pairs of glasses. I wear those at work, safety glasses. Behind the driver's seat, I keep an extra shirt for work, a t-shirt, because now it's winter and I wear a long sleeve. It's nice to have that, and an extra sweatshirt. And back behind there are some headphones. The trunk does not stay up by itself, so I have this piece of wood. And back here is where I keep all of my, my, basically my emergency kit. So, I have some work boots. I have my Kelty Noah 9 tarp with stakes. It's a square 9 foot by 9 foot tarp. Um, in here, I have an extra pair of jeans. An extra long sleeve shirt, gloves, long johns, two pairs of cotton socks just to stay warm, and I have a 20 degree uh, synthetic K2 
Kelty sleeping bag. And I keep all those in here just to keep, a, keep the clutter down in the trunk. And I keep a water bottle back here. It's always good to have some water. Inside this container, I'll bring it to the table so you can see it better, but I'll show you everything I keep in there. Underneath this flap, there is a space for a spare tire. I'm not going to take it off because it's not that cool. There's a spare tire, uh, some jumper cables, a jack, and I think that's it under there. Just stuff to change the tires and jump your car. So I keep some emergency things in this little Rubbermaid box just to keep it from spreading around in the car. I have some water in a glass jar just and it's not full because it's cold out and I thought it might freeze and crack inside here and I didn't want that. And the reason I wear, carry water and all of this stuff is because if I go to a trailhead and my car doesn't start since it's so old. I want to be able to not be starving. And even if something happens, just coming back from work and I have to walk back, it would be nice to have food for me and maybe another person if they're in the car. I have a candle for light and the fire starter. Some deodorant, just in case. Two more ramen. A tuna that I may or may not have stole from my mom. A Sawyer Squeeze filter. These filters are awesome. Um, if you want to see the unboxing of it, click up there. It's great fun watching someone open this. Um, it's just a filter that screws onto a bag and you can filter water from a lake or anything like that. So this is a great thing to have in a car in case if something happens and you need water. A little bit of paracord, notepads and pens. If I need to leave a note for someone on my car, I can do that. Some cashews, two granola bars that I may have stole from my mom as well. Some old oatmeal. It's old, but it'll still be food. A small fishing kit. This was my one that I carried on the Appalachian Trail for a while. Never used it, but two hooks, uh, like a few feet of string, maybe six, ten feet of string and a claw, and then I also have some more hooks and a crawfish lure, a pencil, and some matches. I have a slingshot in here just for fun, or maybe getting some food if I needed to. Hair ties. And inside this is my first aid kit. This is just a bag for a WD Western Digital, I think, hard drive. And in here, got some tissues. Use those for making bandages or just blowing your nose. Medical tape. A little bit of it, some D Dayquil, yeah, Dayquil, Band-Aid, more Dayquil, and some Benadryl. That's my whole first aid kit. It's not very extensive, but it's what I have right now. So that's everything that I carry with me in my car to uh, prepare for emergencies or just a breakdown or anything like that, or just prepare for being hungry. If you see anything that's missing from this kit that you think I should carry and that you enjoy carrying yourself, uh, leave a comment as long as it's reasonable. I mean, I don't really think I need a long rifle, but maybe I do. If you enjoyed watching this video, remember to hit that like button, and if you are looking for something else to watch, check out my video of my everyday carry. Thank you guys for watching.